Hello and welcome to our guide to lighting in V-Ray for Cinema 4D. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to set up and manipulate lights so you can dramatically change the mood of your scene. We've also created videos on setting up V-Ray for Cinema 4D and using its materials workflow. Make sure to take a look if you haven't already. Let's get started. There are many approaches to lighting a scene with V-Ray. The most straightforward is to create a sun and sky from the toolbar. In order to focus solely on the lighting, we can open up our render settings and enable Material Override. Once we drag and drop our override material, we will get a neutral gray image, keeping our refraction and opacity intact. Just make sure to add our glass and transparent materials to the exclusion list. Before we continue, let's open up the VFB and start an interactive render so we can see any changes as we make them. Since V-Ray Sky is procedurally generated, once we move the sun's gizmo in the viewport, V-Ray will automatically calculate the proper sky texture and match it to the sun's altitude. For precise control over the latitude, longitude, and exact date and time of the day, we can also add Cinema 4D's sun expression tag to our sunlight. Regardless of which approach we use, the intensities of both lights are linked and we can easily create any mood from dawn to dusk. For finer control, we can always use the Sunlights option in the General tab, but usually it's faster to access any options from the V-Ray Light Lister, especially once we have multiple lights in our scene. Let's navigate to the Sunlights tab and tweak the size parameter so that we can change the softness of our shadows. This can greatly affect the mood of your scene. An alternative approach to light our scene is to use image-based lighting, which is straightforward to set up. For this, we need HDR images. Simply create a dome light and make sure to activate its Use Texture option. This is where we load an HDR panoramic texture. If you like, you can download one from Cosmos. When you import an HDRI, it will automatically create a dome light and place the texture in its slot for you. Since V-Ray lights are native objects in Cinema 4D, you can simply select and rotate the dome light, making finding the perfect angle easy. We can also adjust the intensity of the light. To light an interior, we will need to introduce artificial lights. V-Ray's rectangle light is a great place to start. Once we add a rectangle light, it will instantly appear in the light lister and we can adjust its intensity and temperature. If we like the illumination coming from the light, but we're not sure if we actually want to see it in our image, we can simply make it invisible. Another way we can approach artificial lighting is with a spherical light. The steps to set this up are more or less the same as with the rectangular one, but the result it will produce is quite different. Before moving on with the production render, I want to add the light mix render element from the V-Ray Render Elements Manager. This way, we can have a great amount of control over our lighting and make vast changes even after we have rendered out our image. Let's go ahead and render our scene. As you can see, the VFB switched to the light mix mode, and now we can adjust our lighting without re-rendering the image. We can turn them all on and off, adjust their intensity, and even change their temperature all after we've hit the render button. Now you should have a solid understanding of how lighting works in V-Ray for Cinema 4D. Check out our other videos to learn how to set up the software and how to use materials. 